G8VIQ GADPR that should now have 2351235 on it. Right. Yeah, I'm using 25 watts from the DM3400. Uh, I'm glad to know that you've now just got GB7FW on the air. What time is it? 16.40. So you emailed me about 16.26. So uh, that's uh, pretty good, Jerry Pierre. Hey, 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 I've got another radio in the background, it's so, uh, <laughs> it's strange. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's been long since 1400, uh, Dave. Uh, but, uh, been busy, uh, trying to set things off at work. Alright, anyway. Get it in. I'm, uh, I'm on my DM4600 at the moment, I'm not too sure what power it's on. I think it's just on 5 watts. G8VIQ Portable G8VIQ Portable from JDPR of our GB7FW in the centre of Birmingham um, Yes, very good John Actually, I've just received in the post from America an XPR5550 uh, yeah, XPR which is a DM4600 American version and Unfortunately, the colour display on it is duff. Uh, the set pairs up, the set works, and it is a UHF, but uh, I, at the moment I can't get the colour display to light. When I unpacked it, the little ribbon cable was missing, because this is something that was bought second-hand at an auction, on an eBay auction. And so I've taken the ribbon cable out of um, XPR255 VHF one that I've also got, put the head together with the ribbon cable back in it and obviously that's why the engineers took it out because um, uh, the colour display isn't uh, running so I'm just about to take it apart again to try and uh, see if I can magic any life into it or if I've not done plugged in the, the ribbon properly or something so um, there you go that's uh, what I've been up to it's a pity I didn't think at 2 o'clock because at 2 o'clock I was sat in the office at uh, the uni twiddling my thumbs for half an hour and I'd turn the, unfortunately, I'd turn the SL4000 off. So uh, I'll have to have a moot around to see where and where not the signal may be with the SL4000. And uh, I'm on holiday for two weeks now. So I'll be uh, just listening from here at uh, home in Beaudley. I'll try it on no pass, don't I? Ah, that was low power. About five watts. Oh, that's great, Jody PR. Yeah, that's good though. Yeah, that's um, no, uh, that was absolutely perfect. So no uh, dropouts or anything. So uh, yeah, five watts is good enough for you then, as anyway. G eight VIQ portable. Yeah, that's uh, that's fantastic, John. I'm using a three-element beam that's beamed up towards HM land. Um, that's about halfway up the mast. I normally use the Watson Collinear that's on the top, but I wanted another aerial for for DMR listening around. So uh, there you go. So nice to have the very first, um, well, one of the first QSOs. I take you work one or two other people, have you, or was this the first? Uh, your number on officially officially you'll be number three Dave go ahead oh I see who did I lose out to well, well if you include me it's number four but yeah <laughs> so far we have um G8 YUQ was number well I went in first so I spoke to Paul so he was number one, I suppose. Uh, Clive, GITFU, and now yourself, G8VIQ. Fantastic, John. OK, I'll go away and leave it to you, and I'm going to upload this five-minute video to YouTube, and then you can listen to it yourself for history. Cheers for now. Congratulations, I'll be monitoring. G80PR in Beardley. 
the 4th through GB7FW on December the 19th at around about 16.45. Just an out and Merry Christmas, etc, etc. I'll be about for the next two weeks. Jody PR, gone. Yeah, okay, cheers, Dave. All the best. Have a uh, nice Christmas if I uh, don't speak to you again before. G, A3IQ, Burm City Centre. Okay, John, I'll set up my SL4000 and an uh, DP3600 and uh, have a mooch around the area with that and throw one in the car tomorrow. Cheers now, G, ADPR. It's closing down. And that is uh, my first QSO, as you heard, through GB7FW, located at Five Ways Island, City Centre, Birmingham. G. ADPR reporting for the Pine Radio Telephone Museum of Great Britain. <laughs>